Equations involving natural logarithm. We can solve the equations involving natural logarithms in the same way as the rest of logarithmic functions. Thus, first we isolate the terms containing the variable, then we use any exponential transformation to isolate the variable only and eventually calculate its value. Let's consider a pair of examples to clarify this point. Example Solve the following equations. We have the following shown on screen. Solution A. At the first sight, this seems an exponential equation. However, we cannot solve it without using the natural logarithm. We have the following shown on screen. Multiplying both sides by e to the power of 3 yields we have the following shown on screen. Taking that ln of both sides yields we have the following shown on screen. b, we have the following shown on screen. Now that we have a single ln term in both sides, we can focus on the arguments only. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. c, we have the following shown on screen. Now that we have a single ln term in both sides, we can focus on the arguments only. Thus, we have the following shown on screen. This is a quadratic equation where the coefficients and the constant are a equals 1, b equals minus 4 and c equals 3. The discriminant delta is positive, as we have the following shown on screen. Therefore, this equation has two distinct roots, we have the following shown on screen. And we have the following shown on screen. Sometimes, none of the roots in a natural logarithmic equation are accepted, as the argument becomes negative for that value. For example, solving the following equation, we have the following shown on screen. We have the following shown on screen. We reject the first root, as ln, 2x, equals l, n, equals l, n, minus 6, and l, n, x, equals l, n, minus 3. Both these logarithms are undefined, as they are negative. Therefore, we accept only the value x equals 3 as a solution for this equation. That is all for lesson 13.4.5, to continue this tutorial please watch, 13.4.6, the natural logarithm function and its graph. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.com.